डायलॉग नहीं है तो मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ सीन ऑल दैट आई डोंट केयर आई थिंक आई हैव डिसलेक्सिया सम बिकॉज़ इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट डिफिकल्ट फॉर मी टू लर्न लाइक्स डिफिकल्ट इफ यू रीड इट आउट टू मी आई विल रिमेंबर इट वर्ड टू वर्ड एक्टिंग इज माय पैशन लाइक इट्स रियली लाइक लाइक a lot of do a, a lot of people do a 9 to 5 job where you know they are just stuck i like i like to i would like to have a family so i'm that person who wants to have kids have a good life have a good life i want all that Ajay Nagra thank you so much for joining me on e times tv on our popular show telly stars talk it's lovely seeing you <laughs> Thank you sir thank you so much it is so good to see you as well and i'm very excited about this you know i must tell you that we watch you almost every day uh, aur uh, abhi to jo show miss ho gaya hum app pe bhi dekh sakte hain jo episode miss ho <laughs> gaya and uh, right. it, it's really fascinating to see you almost in every frame uh, mm-hmm. you're there uh, especially when uh, nakul is around yeah and, uh, If I'm not wrong, this is uh, the show which has given you maximum recognition, right, Ajay? Definitely, you could say that, sir. No. Yes, it has. How did it happen? How did you get this? Um, so there was this show, a Balaji show only, that one of my friend was doing, and I had visited him on set basically this point because it was pandemic, nothing was happening. Uh, my show, CID, had just recently shut down. and no not recently actually quite a bit like it was 2 years since cid had shut down and then i visited him on set just doing you know just trying to meet him and all that and over there i met two very lovely ladies prakriti and uh, shreya who were basically in the creative department of that particular show yeah. and uh, we basically hung out together and then finally like i think about 20 days after that I'm at my house and I get a call from uh, Prakriti saying that uh, we want to audition you for a show and uh, bade acche lagte hain it's coming again so I had heard about it when it had come on air it was big big deal like with the original cast and the work that they've done is tremendous and it had great uh, loyal fans and everything it was very popular at that time so I jumped at the opportunity and I auditioned and fortunately ekta like my audition very much and that's how i got it how does it feel i mean uh, you must be great friends with uh, nakul uh nakul is a fantastic guy actually you know like the guy that you see on screen and what he is in his real life it is you get reflections of of him on screen as well because when he does those scenes when he's vulnerable and when he's to you know playing the hero or being the good guy you see reflections on him on screen definitely and he's just so fun to hang around it around you know like in our personal that we all hang around and he's a, he has a great energy on set very good at his work so it, it becomes a dream actually you know and for uh, like when bade acche lagte started me and him that is what he reminded me it was the first day that he and me we both had this scene you know where when if you see if you go to see the pilot episode of this show it was my narration and he's walking through his office and uh, you know my narration of his character and that, that was the first thing that we shot together so him and me incidentally share the same uh, starting date of shooting for the show So it's been really great, and he's a wonderful guy to be around, and he's a wonderful human being, great father, and a very committed actor. And it is just great to be around. Him. I look I forward must, to it actually. I must ask you here: What did you think uh, about your friend Nakul when he put his picture on uh, Ranveer Singh's uh, latest uh, <laughs> new picture, which has become the talk of town? <laughs> See, he's got this quirky sense of humor. He does that for the kicks, you know, and that's how he is basically. He's just a very, very, uh, very funny guy, but he's got a very quirky, very, you know, uh, offbeat sense of humor, and he keeps doing that. And that's his personality. That's the way he is, you know. Very, very fun guy to be around with, and a very fun guy to, you know, Photoshop his photo to Ranveer Singh's face and pretend. 
that's something that he does that's his humor so did you tease him on the set actually not i'm like i'm i've never really you know i'm not a part of social media that much so i don't know like what the hot things are like and who's put up board photos and all that stuff i'm not very aware of it. but yeah i had to do a double check when i saw his photograph and then i got oh ranveer singh did something like that that's what happened to me to be very honest he made good use of his uh, thick crop of hair and the beard <laughs> he's got fantastic hair eh? no <laughs> doubt about that <laughs> he's got great hair eh? <laughs> so uh, tell me one thing uh, ajay you are there in hmm. so many scenes लेकिन डायलॉग्स इतने नहीं होते हैं आपके मतलब फ्रेम में आप होते हो तो आपको ऐसा लगता है कि आपको और डायलॉग्स मिलने चाहिए सर आई गेस इट इज वेरी सब्जेक्टिव लाइक फॉर पीपल यू नॉट डन वर्क फर्स्ट शो एंड दे वॉन्ट शो देर एक्टिंग प्रॉवर्स एंड देव समिंग डू समिंग सो दे नीड डायलॉग्स to basically express themselves i have been one kind of an actor that i react to every dialogue even when if i'm i do not have it i'm a part of that scene it doesn't remove me from the scene but that's the mentality from most actors where you know they think dialogue nahi hai to main kya kar raha hu scene and all that i don't care about it. i'm an actor who if i'm in any scene and i don't have lines i in fact i'm that one actor who cuts their lines if i get four five lines i try to cut the lines into half because i have a very bad memory problem so to jo mudde ki baat hai wo main bol deta hu but in and around you know it becomes it is like that like that that's, that's how i approach acting it is that's how i see it it's positive to hear that from your side and interesting as well that you cut your lines and condense it to you know just a concise because i have this problem with memory as a genuine problem with memory i have i think i have uh, dyslexia or something because It, it is very difficult, difficult for me to learn lines. If you can, if you read it out to me, I'll remember it word to word. But if I read something and try to remember it, doesn't happen. I mean, it, it's like that. You know, I'm connecting this question to uh, something that I read about you that you dropped out uh, of studies when you were in the ninth standard. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's right. And because you were doing shows, etc., uh, did you go back and yeah. your uh, studies graduation? Basically, sir, I'll tell you what had happened with me. I was six years old. I was standing with a group of friends. They were playing lock and key. I was standing right behind a guy who was very heavy at that time. Even for being in school, he was about 120, 130 odd kgs when he was in seventh or eighth standard. So I was riding, standing right behind him. He ran. He fell over me, on me, and he fell on my left hand, and it broke into three pieces. so our principal mrs avagaram bal she basically condoned my exam ke nahi haat toot gaya to kaise karega bachcha although i was a righty so but still so my father was doing a serial called commander it used to come on zee tv like he on zoom so i just matlab i was sitting at home doing nothing so my father told me chal tu kya kar raha hai mono ko i want to mono ko dub for that show i said why not and i was very mischievous kid As soon as I went to work there, I started playing with the dub- dubbing equipments. I started messing around in the entire place. So over there, there was this Mr. One, uh, Mr. Desai, who was the production head of Sri Adhikari Films, and he saw me playing around, messing around, running. Around. So he asked my father, "Yeah, I'm trying to cast for a child, uh, a character, a chintu, karke, a show. We're making a show. We're making a show. So your son will do it, right?" my father was like mere ko nahi pata usse pucho he came to me and he asked me whether you want to do a show to matlab aapko act karna hai kya aap chintu bhai character i said definitely he said acha theek hai to main aapko parso hamare director se mila hu ha mila i met him day after and i think the day day after that we were shooting for shiva shiva which was my first show ever which is actually a very big cult hit in uh, it, it used to come on doordarshan So I was six or seven years old when that when that thing happened, and then one thing came after that, and then Pardesh came, and then family number one came. So I started working quite a bit. 
there was a point in my life when I was in the ninth standard that I was doing two three shows at a time. So I couldn't be present at school, do homework, and then you know give tests like before exams and all that, and then give exams because I was constantly working. Seven to two, I used to go to school, and two to ten, I used to go shoot the show, and then ten to twelve or one, I used to do some other show. So it became very difficult at that time. So my father. Uh, basically asked me, "Yeah, you want to study or you want to acting?" I was in the ninth standard. I said, "Dad, obviously <laughs> I want to act because I was really somehow in my mind at that time I knew that I can make a life out of this profession." And I was just in my ninth standard where I made that decision, and I'm so happy that I made that decision because I get to follow what my passion is. Acting is my passion. I just really like like a lot of do a, a lot of people do a nine to five job where you know they're just stuck. Doing a nine-to-five job, going to the same office every day, going to the same desk, dealing with the same boss every single day. That was not my field. I could never live my life like that. And I chose acting because I used to love it so much, and it has filled that amount of passion in me and the life that it has given. Me. I'm so thankful that I did that. And Mrs. Abha Darampal, our principal, was. the most important and influential person in my life because she used to help me like there were times where i was not able to you know get through the tests before the exams she used to condone all of that because she understood that you know i'm working most of the day so yeah i had very important figures in my life at that time where i could at that point in time make a decision like you know It's not that I quit education. Education was very important to me. I belong to a family of doctors. We have our own hospital in Indore. My grandfather is a heart, was a heart surgeon. My grandmother was a gynec. My tawji is a doctor, is a general physician. So I belong to a family of doctors. So education was very important to us. So I, I did National Open School, and I've done BCom through National. So I was doing a correspondence course. So it's not like I completely left education. Mm-hmm. I'm a BCom. So, but it was a correspondence. So I didn't have to attend and then give exams. I could give the exam straight. So that is what happened. Nice to hear that. So yeah. uh, I believe that uh, you are not ill and you are in a relationship. Tell us about your girlfriend. I think this is one fact which nobody knows as yet, and it's coming first. <laughs> You caught me there. You caught me there. <laughs> you trapped me into this question. But yeah, she's a very fine, very wonderful lady, and uh, we are just about a year into our relationship, and it's going very well. I'm really happy to have her in my life, and yeah, I'm I'm very very happy right now. That's something I can tell. This is not a question. Please tell us who she is and how did this love story begin. <laughs> I'm not sure this is the right place to talk about it right now, mm-hmm. because you know I would like her also to be approving of it. But is she from the industry? No, no, she's not. I've never uh, dated or had a girlfriend from our industry. I don't prefer that. I don't like it. I cannot date an actor. I cannot be with an actor because same field, same field, everything. I cannot deal with that. Why? So root she's root an interior designer. Okay. So it becomes very difficult because an actor, you know, even when they come, when they come home after what they have done, either they are really mad about what they have done the entire day, or they are too happy about what they have done the entire day. So it becomes a very terrifying conversation if you had a bad day and you don't want to listen to somebody who's more uh, got uh, better things that they have done and they want to talk about. It. So it becomes kind of weird. Why so worse stuff, you know? And I do not know. I've never wanted to date somebody or be with somebody from my own. I like them to have their own thing and they do their own thing. You know, that's what I look out for. I've consciously never dated an actor. Is marriage on mind? Most definitely, if she wants to. <laughs> Most definitely, yeah. I like. I like to. I would like to have a family. I'm that person. Once we have kids, have a good life, have a good life. I want all that. 
So, uh, Ajay, I also want to ask you about, uh, you know, the fact that when I was going through the pages of Google and I came across somewhere where it was written that uh, weight became your identity. Your weight mm-hmm. became your identity and you started, you know, feeling bad about that. So, yeah. were you getting roles which wanted you essentially for your weight or for to create a comic uh, you know scene aise bhi koi phase aaya tha which sir actually i have been on a very yo yo kind of a situation where you know if i let myself like earlier in my life, very early on in my life always i've always been a very chubby kid i've always been a big kid come from punjabi family you can understand you know Ghee, butter and mutton and chicken, whatever rich kind of food that get cooked. So, you know, in my house, I used to eat two, three meals outside. Also, so I was always a very big kid since I was young. So, at one point in my life, I did a show which was a weight loss show called Biggest Loser Jikega. Yeah. And it came on Sahara, where I had lost sixty kilos in four months. Hmm. From one hundred and forty-two, I went down to seven sixty eighty-two kgs or something. Like something ridiculous, and I did that. Then again, I started putting on weight, going back to my heaviest, not heaviest actually. I went up to one twenty-five kg or something. Then again, I got back down. So it, it it's been, you can't say a struggle, but yeah, it's been like if I let it go, I let it go. because I know the fact that the day that I turn my, you know, I I turn that thing around and. If I want to lose weight and I genuinely want to do it, mm. I can do it any time, and I'm very good at it. So it has never been an issue, issue kind of a thing. But the question about getting characters where you know I've, yeah, that has been there. Like a Tufan, my name was Tufan in family. Tufan can't be a skinny, you know, kid where he was just skin and bones. This guy needs to be big, so I've definitely got, and it was a part of my charm when I was a kid. My own, be my being overweight, so yeah, I definitely understand that thing. But eventually, a good actor is very important because if that would have been the case, like any fat person would have, you know, done work like that or done the amount of work, the volume of work that I've done. You need to be a good actor if you want to survive in this field. And to be true certainly, to yourself, I certainly agree on that. But I repeat my question: that was there a phase when people wanted to, you know, can I use the word exploit the fact that you are overweight, and they, you know, there is a tendency. Sir, in the industry, was, there is a tendency was, in the industry, was, and I hear I must compliment Ekta Kapoor for showing you in such correct light as a human being who's standing as emotional bond constantly to Nakul and yeah. you know, very sensible and. very mature but Definitely. many sections of the industry many mm-hmm. makers you know do that that okay let's put somebody here and make a funny scene definitely because that is a part of their script that's how they see things for writer is writing characters mm-hmm. he sees ah this guy is a little bit overweight or this guy is a fit guy like even when we get scripts there is a kind of a uh justification for the fact that why they require a fat person or a thin person mm-hmm. or a good physique person that is always there that's the way they think their character should be and because it is a part of entertainment mm-hmm. like you know if we are all if we have five six friends right everybody cannot be like a chiseled you know bodybuilder kind of physique they can be if they're in their same way there there i mean too many dimensions to it so Yeah, definitely, it happens and used to happen and will happen because people write their characters accordingly. Did you refuse certain roles of this kind, which you know just wanted to create some funny moments with you? No, I wouldn't actually. I've never. I've always been rejected in auditions, and I mean, if things has not have not happened, they've not happened for some reason. But I have always wanted to work. It doesn't matter film, TV, ad, mm. whatever. I, it doesn't matter. I like working, and everywhere else is a different character. So that's what I try to do. What about web shows? Inclined towards that? Web shows, I've been trying, but 
then the thing is that they i mean i don't know like nowadays whatever web auditions they have done they are probably trying to look after a very different kind of acting which i am not able to do right now probably something like that because uh, the initial reaction of web people when they call you for audition is like are you are a television actor so they like earlier how film actor used to be are you television karte hain film ho ke you know all that kind of mental block i think it is there because even if you try to do what they are asking you to do they still have that prejudice or they still have that thing where you know they think are he is like a television actor so i think that's something which is a little weird Baki, I don't understand. Yeah, it's I'm definitely it's to... definitely uh, not correct to you know categorize somebody and have a preconceived idea about him. But you said something interesting. It's a lot about television and OTT. Like it's not only me, but a lot of people that I met who were doing television, they talk a lot about this. Where you know OTT people are like uh, you know television, or like you do television acting. I don't understand that talk. Yeah, something like that. That's something very yeah. interesting here. That वो कुछ ऐसा चाहते हैं जो आप नहीं कर पा रहे हैं वॉट इज दैट विच दे वॉन्ट वो प्रॉब्लली लाइक दे वॉन्ट कॉन्वर्जेशन लाइक दे इन देर ऑडिशन दे वॉन्ट यू टू हैवर्जेशन विद यू के नॉट एक्सक्लेम के ओ ये फोन यहाँ पर है natural and very conversation so as television actors we are predisposed to an idea oh my god ye kya hai or you know so we there's a little higher reaction to things which they feel that almost all actors do so it's kind of weird but yeah i mean it is and there it's their job and they are looking out for certain some, some something certain so i mean i can understand that your interactions with ekta kapoor how often have you met her during this whole bade acche lagte hain so what had happened was uh, on the first day when the episode got released we were told by the production that ekta wants to meet us so we all went to meet her the entire cast everybody apart from nakul or disha i think we all went and we met her in the uh, office and the first thing that happened over there was i was standing because there uh, were quite a lot of people and uh, like i got a chair after fight and then it's, it's a lot of people at least 25 30 people were there in the office so i was standing for a bit she saw me and she's like you're ajay nagar right i said yeah and she's like uh, you know we did a show together when uh, i was basically very young 7 8 years old so i said yeah i do remember that the name of the show was captain house she like yeah so apparently it was her first production show that she did and uh, we were only in the pilot stages but i was the only one actor who was constant in those we, they made three pilots of it And I was the only actor who was constantly in all those three parts. Baki everything was shuffled, so she remembered that, and it was a very big shock because I had not met her personally like this ever. And then she said that, and I said, "Good job, or whatever." And then after that meeting, I went down and called my father. I said, "Dad, are you serious? Like, that just told me that <laughs> there was this show that she did." captain house ke which never came out but i mean the memory of that so just so insane i mean i would never had imagined to you know for her to remember something which is like 25 30 odd years back she remembered it very distinctly so it was great so my father told me yeah she used to sit on the monitor and she used to say ha this and that whatever my she interact with my dad So yeah, she was very young girl at that time. And then after that, Palaji came. Then Kyuki came. Now, obviously, we all know who she is. It's really yeah. credible the number of serials she has made and the number It of successful serials yeah. she has made. Yeah. Really credible. 
and now into movies as well so yeah ajay thank you so much for this uh, conversation and, thank you vikish uh, you so much